Well, welcome to our 15th episode for the College of Health, Education, Social Transformation video podcast. Uh, once again, my name is Philip Post, and I'm fortunate to serve as the Interim Associate Dean for Academics. Uh, before we get started today's podcast, I want to first congratulate once again our graduates for spring 2022. We're excited to see what you do in the future and know that you're going to be doing great things. A couple of reminders for our existing students, our summer session is coming up. Summer session one starts May 25th and goes through June 29th. Summer session two starts June 30th and goes through August 4th. So this past year for our video podcast, we've gotten to interview some exceptional people, administrators, and some of our amazing research faculty. We wanted to end the year talking with some of our amazing students and some of our students who are in leadership roles within the College of Hest. And we're fortunate today to meet with Lexi and Sophia, who Lexi is our incoming president for the HEST uh, student organizations, and Sophia is incoming vice president for the HEST student organizations. And they're going to talk a little about how students can get involved with our college and involved with our numerous student organizations. Hello, my name is Lexi Ortiz. I'm Sophie Pettis. And we are both rising seniors majoring in communication disorders, linguistics, and getting a minor in counseling and educational psychology. We are also your HEST president and vice president in our council, as well as officers within NISLA and the HEST senators. Pretty much we're just here to give our students appropriations and reimbursements for any conferences that you may be traveling to, um, your organizations, any events that they may be holding, we give that money. Um, and then also so we would like to explain. Um, so we also work on collaborating um, all of the clubs that fall under HES together. Um, so this is done by we plan volunteering events, we encourage all the other members of different clubs within HEST to um, attend each other's events when it's a fundraiser or um, anything within the community and we also keep all of our officers updated on the different um, things going on in the Senate and all across the university. I think the biggest thing is that whenever you're going into college, you have so many opportunities within the College of Hest that you can join different clubs and organizations and they give you that opportunity to build up your resume and meet new, new people and uh, gain those connections that are going to help you in your future career. And at NMSU, pretty much every major has some form of club associated with it. So, for example, under Hest, we have NISLA, which pairs with communication disorders. We have SNA that pairs with nursing and then we also have educators rising for all you educators out there and there are also about like 15 more just within HEST so regardless of your college that you fall under there are plenty of organizations that you can join and um, even if they're not in your college anything volunteer related looks really great on your resume. I think the biggest piece of advice that I can give is that um, as you're coming in, you're going to have these classes with the same people that are in your cohort for the next four years. So if you can gain those connections, meet new friends, create study groups, um, they're going to be with you through the next four years and they're going to be your biggest support system. So it's just awesome to make friends and get to know people in the classes. Yeah, and definitely with those study groups, it's really important to keep your grades up, keep each other motivated. Um, another form of bonding that you can have on campus is definitely uh, meet people outside of your college so you have a greater perspective for the collaborations that you have in the future in your careers. Um, a great way to do that is whenever you start out, there is a Roadrunner internship through ASNMSU. Um, you can join that your, your freshman and sophomore year. Um, in this internship, you can definitely um, plan events, plan community organizations with a bunch of people in the same boat as you, new to college, and that will definitely prep you for holding leadership positions within future organizations, um, either related to your organization or your major or just um, in ASNMSU ASN as in general. <laughs> and there's so many different organizations and um, positions within ASNMSU, so if you're interested in anything along those lines, feel free to reach out to any of us uh, HES Senators or HES Council people and we'll be here to help you and answer any questions. 
I'd probably say the tight-knit community. It's nice to know that um, these classes that I'm taking are going to be with the same people. So I think I've I met Sophia, well, in elementary school, actually. <laughs> but uh, coming back to school and seeing each other and that we were in the same major, we've become best friends. And it's just so nice to know that those people are always going to be there for you. And I don't think you would get that at a bigger campus. And just like all the teachers also, they're very, like, going to be the same people and they're there for you. So it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I definitely also love the community and I love how much NMSU focuses on culture like within our region like they find a way to highlight all the cultures like within mm -hmm. our um, our region I guess and it just feels nice that everybody you meet always feels welcomed you never feel like I feel like at other universities we hear things of when people feel like outcasts or anything and I feel like at NMSU everybody has a place and I really like that. Yeah. Go, Go Aggies! Aggies. Well, I want to thank Lexi and Sophia for meeting with us today to talk a little about our amazing student organizations within the College of Health, Education, and Social Transformation. If you want to get involved, make sure you reach out to them. Uh, we always love it to have our student involved within our college and to really hear about the amazing things that they're doing within their departments and within their uh, particular communities. Uh, so until next time, please continue to follow us on social media. We'll continue to send out updates, things that are going on in the college, and I look forward to speaking with everybody soon. See you on campus.